Hello fellow runescapers, today I've got another video for you and uh, it has to do with more merchanting. I promised you guys a merchanting guide not long ago and I am going to fulfill that promise right now. Now in the last couple days, we, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it about a week, I have gone from 3 mil cash to I don't even know how much I have. I have like 60 mil ish, something like that. Um, so, how have I done this? I've been flipping items, and flipping is one of the merchanting methods. Now, there's quick flipping, which is just the normal flipping, there's long term flipping, which is kind of weird. I don't understand it a whole lot. And then there's uh, short term investing and long term investing. And then there's price manipulation, which is really tricky. Uh, I'm going to cover flipping today. Um, I'm not really going to touch on the other stuff, just flipping. So what is flipping? Flipping is basically where you buy, uh, you buy an item at a lower price and then sell it at a higher price, uh, almost instantaneously. Um, it's investing, but a lot faster. So there's there's a lot of questions people ask me um, what to flip how do I flip how do I find the prices to buy at etc 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 and I'm gonna show you the first thing I'm gonna show you is items that you uh, should flip now you can go to the Grand Exchange website and find the most common traded items and then uh, go from what I say here but off the top of my head actually I have a list I just rattled off to a friend. Um, blood runes, water runes, astral runes, death runes, dragon scimitars, uh, there's some potions that can be merged. Uh, Serdamon sword, Zami spear, Abi shield, stuff like that. There's like a... There's PvP weapons, uh, slayer gear, stuff like that. Those are the, those are the things you want to do. Um, also, popular stuff like my DFS here uh, those are you can flip those um, sometimes they're not really good profit sometimes they are like fury uh, I think it's like maybe 1k profit for per flip now and you're in you're putting in over 11 mil it's not worth it don't do it it's not very fast profit it's high risk no all right so once you have your item I'm gonna show you blood runes actually no because my friend is flipping blood runes I'm going to show you what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you multiple items. Uh, first off, we're going to start off with um, simple stuff. Water runes. Okay. Biggest question everyone asks me is how do I find the buying and selling price? Uh, excuse me. Now there's two ways to do this. The first way, you can just type in your own prices. That hardly ever works though. This way is pretty foolproof. You're gonna figure out a lot. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a buy order for one of that item. One. This is not the merchanting part. This part, all you're doing is figuring out the margins. Okay? To figure out the ceiling, which is the top price of your item, you're gonna put in a buy order for plus five percent. For water runes, that's 13 GP. Confirm offer. Now check your offer out. I got one water rune at exactly 13 GP. That means that the ceiling is 13 GP. Okay? Now you're going to take that water rune and you're going to sell it at below 5%. Yes, this generates a loss, but trust me on this one. It's only one item. You're only going to lose money on one of the items. And then you're going to start merging them 25k at a time. Okay, so put in a, a sell order for negative five percent, which is eleven GP, and then look at how much it actually sold for. I actually got twelve GP. So the margin on water runes is only one GP profit. They're not huge profit, but they're pretty steady. So twelve GP was our floor, and thirteen GP was our ceiling. What you want to do is you want to buy these items at your floor, and then sell them at your ceiling. So water rune. Runes you can buy 25,000 of every four hours. However, 
if you turn around and you sell them as you get them say you get them in 10k increments every 30 seconds 45 seconds turn around and sell those 10k quickly and uh, that's going to negate that 25,000 limit you basically you can only gain or lose 25,000 water runes every four hours all right so our floor was 12 GP we're gonna put in a buying price for 25,000 water runes at 12 GP which is 300k okay now we're gonna let them sit there until they sell in the meantime we're gonna start flipping something else I'm gonna show you dragon scimitars which are one of my personal favorites All right, we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Buy one of the item at plus five. And what you can do is you can bring up notepad here. Uh, let me squish it down to size. You can bring up notepad here and you can have uh, plus five percent. E hey, 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 equals 85,748. That's the actual 5% price. Okay, now I'll put in that buy offer and look you got 4248 back so what was our price here alright bring a calculator if you need one if you're godly at math then by all means you don't need one and then take this price here which was 85 7 48 minus this price here this GP that you got back so that's gonna be 42 48 that means that your ceiling is 81,500 GP, which is kind of low, really. Dragon Sims have been doing pretty poorly. All right, so if you need to remember that information, what I do is uh, I write it down like this. Now you're going to sell this item at negative 5%, and then you're going to look at how much it actually sold for. It sold for 79200 okay? That's your floor. All right, so now that you have those two items, those two prices, you can, uh, oh, those aren't gonna buy. Sometimes water runes are like that, they won't buy. You can buy them at the prices that you had listed, all right? So the floor is your buying price. We're going to buy it at 79200 The ceiling is your selling price. Now, sometimes with, with stuff like this that has a couple hundred GP profit, you're going to have to adjust it by 50 GP each, roughly. So we're going to buy it actually at eight, uh, 80K each, and then we're going to sell them at 81K each. Uh, and that's just because I like to move my items faster. Um, it would work if you actually went by those prices, it would probably move a lot slower though. So your buying price is going to be 80k and I'm going to put in a buy for 100 of them. Now one thing about Dragon Scimitars is you can only buy 10 every 4 hours. There's that 4 hour limit. So what you're going to do is every time you sell a few, say every time you say sell 5, collect them in your inventory and then turn around and sell them uh, for your selling price. All right, and now, see these are these are moving pretty slow today. We're gonna do blood runes. I want to show you all some faster profit. Hey now. All right, blood rune. Plus five is four oh five. Put in one. All right, that's three eighty five because we got so much. We got twenty GP back. 385 is our ceiling. And now we're going to sell that. And 383. So we can put in a buy offer for blood runes. At 383 each. We're going to do just 1k. And uh, let it sit there for a minute. Alright, now we've got ourselves a hefty number of water runes here. And we got four dragon scimitars that sold. So what was our selling price on dragon scimitars? It was 81k. It helps to write it down sometimes.
All right, and we're going to sell those for. And our selling price on water runes was 13 GP. We're going to sell those. See how all those blood runes bought almost instantly? Oh, all our water runes bought too. And that's all of our dragon scimitar. Nope. And look, some of my dragon scimitars just sold two of them. That's 2k profit. Now that's not a lot. I know that seems horrible, but when you can move them, when you start to get the ability to move them pretty fast, you're going to start making a lot more money. Alright, so we're going to sell these blood runes at, what did I call it? What did I say? 385? Yeah. 385 each, which is just one GP below the guide price. Alright, so we've bought pretty much all the dragon scimitars we can buy this these four hours. And now we're going to collect them all together and put in one big sell order for them. And boom, blood runes just sold. Look how fast that was. Instant, like, what was that? Uh, 3G per... No, that was... That was an instant 50k profit, almost. And look, these dragon scimitars are selling. Water runes are kind of iffy today. Uh, now I'm going to show you the Saradaman sword, which is pretty good to merch. I know this is probably a pretty long guide. It says over here that I'm at 705 seconds. Alright, so this is going to look like I lose a lot, but it's not. Alright, so we got... What I do is I kind of cut this off and round it, like, round it up to the nearest thousand. So I got 5723. Uh, it just helps for me to actually remember that. Alright, so we got 57.23 and we got 2.23 back. So that means it's at 5,500 exactly. And we're going to bump that up to 55... 55.05. See how our dragon scimitars are all selling? Alright, now let's see... 55.05 for Sarah Diamond Sword is the ceiling. And then we're going to sell at negative 5. And we got 54.50. Wow. Those are not bad at all today. So Sarah Diamond Sword. We're going to buy them at 54.55. Wait. 54.55. Yeah. Alright, 54. And the reason I buy them at just a little bit over what I find is uh, that just gives me a little bit more priority than somebody that's not actually uh, merging these. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like I've gotten a couple more dragon scimitars too. There we go, I got all, all 10 dragon scimitars. Turn around and sell those for 1k profit each. Sarah Diamond Sword's not going to move real fast today. Uh, I was kind of merging it earlier. These water runes are just not selling today, so we're just going to sell them at Guide. I don't care. <laughs> But you can see how flipping can be extremely good profit. It's kind of slow right now. I don't really know. Uh, but, see, we're making 1k for every dragon scimitar, and I've already, I've already done several dragon scimitars. Check out the history of my Grand Exchange. Uh, oh, it's not going to show me. You sold 10 dragon scimitars for 810k. And I bought them for 800k, so that's 10k profit for every uh, for every dragon scimitar that I sell. I get 1k profit. Every 10, I get 10k profit. And so far, I've already moved how many? Bought a total of 22. So I've moved 22. That's 22k profit. And this vid is not very long at all. So imagine if you were doing that with 
four items at a time. I, that's what I merch, is I, I do about four items at a time. I'll do uh, Blood Runes, Dragon Scimitar, Saradaman Sword, uh, Obsidian Shield. So, I know it's not really detailed. I, it's kind of hard for me to explain. But I really hope it helps. Uh, I'll be putting in a more detailed guide at some point, I hope. And also an investing guide. I'm not really good at investing, but I'm going to give people some pointers. Uh, show them how to read some graphs. And I'm also going to show a little bit of price manipulation. And I'm talking. I'm not talking about the, the price manip manipulations that clans do. Uh, I'm talking about price manipulation that you can do yourself. Now, these Sarasaurids are not buying very fast. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in a new buy offer. Remember that our, our top was 55.05. All right. We're going to put them in at 54. Oh, hey, that was t terrible. 54.60 each. All right. Uh, I don't know if I have enough. Yes, I just barely have enough. Now, if those buy, I'm going to be making a lot of profit off of each of those. Uh, and you notice now that my Dragon Scimitars have pretty much stopped selling to me. I, they're not appearing here anymore. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that offer and then find new margins for those. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to be merchanting Blood Runes. And this is just keeping your flow of money complete. Boom, 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 boom. 383... We're gonna buy twenty-five thousand. No, two hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, I don't have the money for it in my inventory right now. So we're gonna buy ten thousand. Ah, I just failed. But yeah, guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, uh, message me, whatever you need to do. Um, I'll try to explain as best as I can. I'm not really good at teaching people. But that's pretty much all there is to it. You need to find the margins. First of all, pick an item. Uh, blood runes are good. I love blood runes. Saradaman sword, dragon scimitars are great. Um, water runes can be good. Uh, they're usually only one GP profit each, but usually they move really fast. I mean, instantaneous. Uh, so water runes are pretty good. Um. Don't, don't merge anything that bots uh, do a lot of. Uh, logs, fish, raw resources, you can do those, but I would not advise it. Uh, some other popular items, berserker rings, berserker necklaces, berserker helmets. Um, rune armor can be good. Uh, obsidian, what you call them, obsidian shields, obsidian capes, uh, staff of light. And every now and then, dragon picks can be amazing. Uh... But that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. So I really hope I've helped you. This is Envoy of Eve signing out. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked about the video. Tell me what you didn't like the video. Also, I have one question for you guys. Wait, I don't remember the question I was going to ask. Oh, yeah. Last time I asked you, Dr. Pepper or Pepsi, people, the majority of people, actually said Pepsi. I like Dr. Pepper personally. But today's question is going to be Mountain Dew or Mellow Yellow. Let me know what you think. Uh, but yeah, Envoy of Eve signing out. Yada, 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 yada. See you star side. Blah, 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 blah.